If you like me, you read chapters like Isaiah 8 and 9 and can't help but wonder, what message could there possibly be for me to gather here? It sounds like a lot of terrible things are happening to God's people that aren't remotely like anything I experience in my day to day. Then it hit me as I considered the big pictures of these chapters. Difficult times that have come about by Israel turning away from God and two methods of dealing with said difficult times, embracing God and his word or embracing earthly answers. But every day we find ourselves with reasons to be afraid of what's to come in our lives. But chapter 8 of Isaiah implores us to not give in to conspiracies or the rampant troubles of a sinful world, but instead find shelter and peace in the Lord. It says in verses 12 through 13, do not say a conspiracy concerning all that his people call a conspiracy, nor be afraid of their threats, nor be troubled. The Lord of hosts, him you shall hallow. Let him be your fear and let him be your dread. Those who don't know God may be confounded by this. And as chapter eight goes on to say, they will search for answers in earthly ways and ultimately come up empty. Chapter nine goes on to confirm our hope even more. Just like Israel, we can also direct our hope and trust towards Jesus, who was to them a prophesied Messiah who would deliver them from their oppression, and is to us now a risen Savior who delivers us from the oppression of sin. This is a wonderful reminder of why Christ came to earth, especially as we enter into the Christmas season. I myself have experienced challenging times the past few months, but it makes me ever more thankful that I have the ability to choose to trust in a loving God who doesn't want to leave me in confusion or discouragement, but rather fill me with the comfort of his Holy Spirit and the knowledge that he has a plan and intentions for my life. I can't think of a better way to summarize this message than by reading another verse from later on in the book of Isaiah, chapter 26, verse 3. You will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts in you.